So we've looked here at um, Google Plus and Facebook as social networks to reach an audience. Let me make you aware, aware of a sort of meta social network in that this is a network, a social network that can be used with multiple social networks at once. They recently changed their address. The current address is empire.cred, K-R-E-D. So empire.cred. This uh, website is about um, promotion on social media and in the vein of Facebook where you pay to reach an audience it's similar to that in, except in that you pay in virtual currency um, and I don't mean Bitcoin and such this is virtual currency that you build in this network from using the other networks so it's a process I'm not gonna go through the process of setting up but I will just show you the end result in that you create an account here and then you link your Twitter to it, you link your Facebook to it, and just about all the social networks, um, you know, Google Plus, Instagram, etc. And you're active on those other social networks, and it earns you virtual currency in cred, in Empire. And that virtual currency can then be used to create ads to reach people. So again, creating the account takes a little while, I'm not going to, but I'm going to log in with an account that already exists to show you what it looks like from the inside. So I've got this particular account set up. This account, VMC Inc. Um, Empire is very interesting because it's a mixture of a social network, it's a mixture of an, of an ad platform, and it's a mixture of a stock market simulator in that you create an account on Empire and people can buy shares in your company, virtual company. Um, this one that I'm running here, it's 87.43 EVES. That's the virtual currency they use here. So one share is 83 and a half EVES. So another account on Empire can choose to buy one share of this company. So then this company earns 87 EVES in their bank. They can buy, you know, a hundred shares of this company and then that go that's that's eight hundred and seventy-four eves deposited to this account. Um, vice versa, this account can buy shares in other accounts. Well, the point of the buying and the selling of shares is to build this virtual currency. And at the moment I have seven point nine million eves in this account. Earned fifty six thousand today. It's all virtual money, unfortunately. There's no way to cash it to real money. But the point of this is, okay, I have capital, I have money to then run ads to reach the audience. Um, I'll look at that in a moment, but again, the stock market aspect of things is the stock of this account has been going this way and then it's risen because this is based on the activity of the networks connected to this account. So let's see over on here. So I've got the Twitter account connected, YouTube, I've got to fix Instagram apparently, WordPress, and so forth. So as VMC Inc. is active on these networks, this is also generating eaves on Empire Avenue. And so, Kita Champion bought 1,190 shares of VMC Inc. eight hours ago at 
EVs a share, there were dividends that were earned, 1600 this other company also bought five shares, dividends, okay, so I'm, uh, this account is earning virtual money. And then what you do with the virtual money, you create missions. Over on this missions screen, so these are missions that people have created. For example, visit a YouTube video. This person wants people to see his YouTube video. He created a mission for that. You can see the details. You can earn 29,000 EVs for that. So again, this is a really interesting site because it's a mixture of stock market, social media, promotion, self-promotion, all of that. Here, uh, Marisha wants, uh, oh no, wait, that's a description, uh, Rex, Rex wants people to visit this video, and oh, he does say Marisha's cool new song, not officially out, okay, so she's got a video out about a song, he wants to get traffic to that YouTube video, he's making a promotion here, he's making a mission that if you go watch this video, you can claim those eaves. Some of these missions are much more easily verified. I could pretty much claim this 29,000 by clicking, you know, to complete the, to complete it, to go watch the video, but I don't have to watch it. I can just close the video and that's it. And I run the 29,000. But the community is pretty good about sort of like self-policing. And if you're just there like stealing eaves without doing the missions, um, there are repercussions. So I've used this for a few years, and I think it's pretty effective, and I think the community is a good community that does actually um, you know, follow through. And um, people get reported, or you can report, and all of that. So it's uh, showing over here, you know, Marella did the mission, and, and Joe, and Sandor, and uh, Francisca. So they, they, they did the mission, they watched the video, and they gave promotion they gave views to that video. They earned 29,000 EVs in the process. Let's see, something else. Let's see, this one, new emerging vocal talent. This one says, go check out this YouTube channel, subscribe to the channel, and like or favorite or do one of these extra actions. So you go over to youtube.com slash toonzilla, you do these actions, and then you've earned 29,000. You can create your own mission. So in this account I've got 7.9 million EVs to work with. I can go over to my dashboard here these are different ones that I've run. And create a new mission. You can set up different parameters. Public mission, invitation. This mission is for anyone. Shareholders only, non-shareholders. So most likely to reach the bigger audience would be anyone. So I want to put it into a community. So there's also targeting here via location, interests, what kind of style is this? So, um, they've changed things a little bit. It's uh, got a little bit more of a focus on YouTube and Twitter, um, but there's also web page URL. So if I've got my my link for for my app, I, I can include that, and I can write a description. This will grade you also from A to F to say how effective would this ad be. If you simply say download my app, you probably won't get a very good grade. And the it'll be a low quality mission that gets sort of filtered out. So as you read the instructions here and 
and again, think in terms of SEO, meaning keywords and enticing people to, to look and click, then you get activity. So here I would say, if I say something like download my um, educational app, that might not be a very good title, but if I could say something more like uh, keep up to date with free classes, that might catch people's attention more on the main mission screen and they can further read, write a compelling description of the content page or tweet you want people to visit. Remember, missions can not ask for specific actions such as retweets and likes. Well, that other person did that actually. Uh, comments or follows. You can say you'd appreciate actions but not that you require specific actions. Missions are completed when the mission completion button is clicked. So the destination is my actual app screen and I can say here um, try out this new free app for keeping up to date with classes at San Diego continuing education and then go on and write a, a couple more sentences that really explain why it's so good to get our app because people are going to look at these missions and based on what you've written here they're going to uh, follow through hopefully and again some of these are a little bit easier to confirm than others here this says this said that all, all a person has to do is click that link and it'll take them to the app but they still have to click install app and they may never do so, and then you're out the money, the eaves that you chose to write here. So a lot of it is on the honor system, but it's virtual money. Virtual money creating real actions, real action downloading an app or visiting a website. But as, as an example for previous missions that I've done here, So, for example, this had a budget here of a million years, which was visit this uh, video tutorial on HTML5. Uh, the result there was 12, 12 clicks. So 12 people went off to, to view the video. Um, you know, you're seeing there some of these results. And this is, this is all virtual money resulting in real action of the visit, of the subscribe, of the like, and such. So Empire Avenue has been around probably five years or so. And um, this is on one of the accounts that I've used it, and I've also used it for other clients, and um, it works. Obviously, Facebook, with its bigger reach of more people, has better results, but that's real money for virtual results. This is virtual money for virtual results. And I found that it is useful for apps, for app discovery. People are on this network, they they want to um, create, complete these missions. Uh, some use it as a social network, some use it as a, as a game, right? Completing as many missions as possible and all of that. You get badges and other game-like stuff. So I would set up what kind of reward, fixed or scaled, what's my budget, what amount, minimum, maximum, etc. Empire Avenue makes its money by having some premium elements that then you actually pay for, and then you get more reach, but the free aspect has worked very well. especially with the targeting, who would care about these elements. Uh, I'm going to be targeting Amazon with an interest of you know, education or something. And based on my budgets and everything, I can uh, reach more of an audience. You 
pay 22 real dollars to then buy 10 million EVs to run more campaigns. But you're able to generate that money all by itself by setting up the other networks, connect your Twitter, connect your Facebook, connect all of that, and the activity that you do on those networks then generates dividends in here, and then your own company would also be, you know, purchased uh, shares. You know, 87 times 1100, that's more that go to the coffers of this account to then run these missions. You, yes, over here, if uh, you want to shut down the mission, you can archive it and you get the money back. And then you can, um, you know, after a certain point, if it's not really getting you any results, you can archive it and you get the money back. Hmm. I'm not sure. I haven't done it myself. Um, maybe somewhere in the frequently asked questions that might be answered there. I've just used it myself for the sort of the completely free stuff. But that could be uh, maybe something that is available, and that would be that'd be cool because then you could uh, be more of an incentive for people. But I don't know yet. Yeah, so I've been using it a while. This is from four years ago. So Empire used to be called Empire Avenue. Uh, now it's empire.cred. And um, it's this interesting meta social network. It's marketing, it's game, it's stock market, it's advertising. And so the last topic of the last day that I wanted to cover is this marketing aspect. You've got this app. If it was a real app, you'd want people to find out about it. Here's some ways. Google Plus, Facebook, Empire. There's also, of course, Twitter. There's uh, Pinterest and podcasts and word of mouth and emailing to people. And then maybe you get that viral hit like Flappy Bird that uh, was such a hit that the developer actually quit because he was getting like fifty thousand dollars a day from his app that was that uh, i don't know if anyone played it that was that really frustrating game where a little bird was flying around and it had to dodge pipes and you tapped it and it flew and stuff and that was earning the developer lots and lots of money so you never know you could you could have a viral hit any questions on empire.cred